punishment but Jesus Christ died 
in our place so that we can receive atonement and forgiveness. Now, just like my sister was saying, it is a historical fact that Jesus died. However, on the cross by crucifixion, on the cross by Roman crucifixion, it's a historical fact. However, we go to a book called the Quran, and the Quran contradicts every single uh, historical account. It contradicts everything the scholars say. Jesus himself, he predicted his own or prophesied his own death. The Quran contradicts that. And so we want to look at the Quran and we want to bring a comparison today. Muslims would claim that this book is the eternal word of Allah. Yes. Muslims would claim this is the book which tells them, which tells them how they need to live their life, which gives them the will of Allah. That's right. Quran itself claims it is well explained and well detailed book. Yes. But I want to say, mm. is it real that mm. Quran is well explained and well detailed when it comes to the crucifixion account? That's right. That's right. That's it right. Is a Yes, 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 yes. What does Quran tell us about the crucifixion Muslims? Sorry? Why do you care? Why are you, are you Muslim and you don't care what the Quran says? Why do you care? No, no, no. If it's so, if it's so false, I have to ask you, why do you care? No. I do care because Quran <laughs> makes the claims about it. You need to care. Men and women. But, but, okay. as it makes a claim about hang around, the hang around. it gives them false information. Right. So, what does Quran tell us about the death of Jesus Christ? Okay, okay, sir. Sir, you're asking us why we care. We're going to read it for you, yeah? Listen, stand around and listen. Okay, so, in Surah, uh, chapter 4, 157, don't you don't want to know about your Quran. What kind of Muslim are you? And we're going to read about your Quran, whether you like it or not. Okay, Surah 4, don't run away. Surah 4, 157, it says this. And for their saying, and for their saying indeed, what's going on? Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, messenger of Allah, and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But another was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumptions. And they did not kill him for certain. So what else does Quran tell us about the death of Jesus? So Surah 4 verse 157 yes, yes. tells us, Jews did not kill him. Yes. Jesus was not crucified. Jesus didn't die. That's right. What That's else right. does Quran tell us? Can we hold Jesus? Well, 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 when we go into other texts of the Quran, it does say, I mean, it does imply, and it would seem that Jesus did actually die. And so, uh, we can elaborate on that. So, are you trying to tell me there is only one verse out of 6,236 verses of the Quran? Yes. Who is I which is identified the eternal word of Allah and well detailed, well explained contains only one verse regarding that Jesus didn't die. One verse, 33 words I believe, and contradicts all the rest of scripture, all the rest of the Quran, the Bible, um, history, history, everything. One verse. 33 Arabic words discredit the history, discredit the previous scripture, yes. yet still claims well explained and well detailed <laughs> so That's let me ask you basic questions yes. if quran is well explained and well detailed yes. can you please tell me what was happening when this verse was given what was happening when this verse was given well this verse was given six seven hundred years after see all this chaos going on Fucking white boy. Seven hundred, six hundred years after the death of Jesus Christ, there was no eyewitnesses. There was um, all the apostles had died. This was given in another nation, in an Arabic country, um, and here we and still they claim to believe that this verse was true—that Jesus Christ or Isa did actually die. 
And so in that particular period of time, we have no eyewitness of this, of what happened. So do we know who is the person who passed this verse into the Quran? Yes, the, the, um, the, the Prophet Muhammad. No, we don't know. <laughs> okay. We don't know. <laughs> We can't chase the verse back right. to know who put this verse in the Quran. Right, okay, yes, yes, we yes. don't know the context of the verse. We okay, don't know what you. was happening yep. when the revelation came down. That's right. It's all messed up. Yes. It's all messed up. Well detailed, well explained Quran yes. doesn't give us the context what was happening. No, that's right. That's right. That's so, right. Yeah. let me ask you basic questions. Yeah. As the verse states, for their sins. Yes. That's talking to the Jews. Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. Was it, was it Jesus who killed Jesus? Well, that's interesting because we know, I mean, historically, that it was a Roman crucifixion. So where they get this idea in this Quranic verse that it was actually Jews that crucified. Jews, number one, didn't have the means to crucify. And number two, we know from historical information that it was actually the Romans, but this was part of their punishment um, for treason, that they would use crucifixion as a means to, 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 kill, uh, to, to kill the person who was on trial. So uh, Jews did not kill Jesus. So I'm not sure why. The Quran would say this. Did Jews ever believe that Jesus was the Messiah? The Jews did not believe Jesus was the Messiah. So what? Uh, so again, I mean, it just blows my mind why they would believe this book, this Quran, and believe this verse as a fact. When, if you you can go to any Jew today or any any synagogue or look into history, and never any period of time do Jews believe that Jesus was a Messiah. So here we have another problem. So Jews didn't believe Jesus was the Messiah. Did Jews believe the virgin birth? Jews did not believe any of this. Jews did not believe virgin birth. They didn't, they didn't uh, believe that he was the Messiah. And Jews do not crucify um, criminals. This was something that they had to go to the Roman prefect to go to, uh, to, to, to Caesar and Pontius Pilate in order to get this man crucified. No, we, we have so many problems with this Quranic verse. So, what was the punishment of the blasphemy according to Jewish law? If you blasphemed, it was death. You and get stoned. You get stoned, yes, yes stoned to death. So, Jews would stone Jesus yes. because they would believe Jesus blasphemed. Correct. Yet, yet Quran, Quran steps in and then says, it Jews did not kill him, no. they did not crucify him, and it was Jews who in a sense believed that Jesus was the Messiah. Well, well, that, well that's it, you know, they, you know, in a sense, it's, I mean, there's, there's a lot of problems we have here, because you're having Jews who are, who, who we know when we go into the um, Mosaic law, but if anyone blasphemed and if, if, if somebody um, spoke against God, they would be, they, they, uh, they would be stoned. And they would never be crucified to a cross. Yet we have this verse saying that no, they didn't. They didn't plan to stone him. Instead, they planned to crucify him, which makes no sense. According to the verse, Jesus did not crucify. He did not die. Yeah. Do we know who was on the cross and who died and crucified? If it wasn't Jesus, there must be someone else. Because according to the Christian scripture, Mary was in front of the cross. John was in front of the cross. Right. So there's, there was someone who died by crucifixion. Do we know who was that person? Well, according to Islamic sources, I mean, they, different ones say different things, but... Well the detailed, person... well explained well... Quran. <laughs> what does the well detailed, well explained Quran tell us? Well, the, the well explained, detailed Quran says absolutely nothing about the person who um, who was crucified? Who took the place of Jesus? Who took Jesus. the place of Jesus? Who took his resemblance? No. That doesn't show that it is well detailed. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, not, Sister Hatun. Unfortunately, not. If Jesus yes. didn't die, yes. And if one verse out of the Quran is correct, Surah 4, verse 157, yeah. correct. Yeah. What is the applications of that? What is the implications of that? 
Well, if Jesus did not die, we have some major problems. Of course, we've already made one of the points clear is that this um, is that if Jesus didn't die, you know, we spoke about sin and then we, there's no atonement for sin. But just as importantly, what would happen is you have billions of Christians in the world today whose faith is based on the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And if Jesus did not die, what you have is you have Allah deceiving billions of Christians into believing that actually Jesus did die and thus Allah is the creator of Christianity. So are, he are, calls Christianity. are we saying Allah steps in as a best of deceivers yes. to deceive mother of Jesus, yes. deceive the disciples of Jesus and deceive billions of Christians. Wow, yes, yes, yes. That, that looks like Allah must be very gifted. He's very, must very, be very gifted, gifted. Very gifted. It's not only it's not yeah. only shows Allah is greatest deceiver. Yeah. It's also so, shows that Jesus, sinless prophet, yeah. prophet of Allah, was a liar. That's right. Because look at the scripture in Christian scripture, prophets are talking about the death of Jesus. Yes. Jesus himself talks about his death right. and his resurrection. That's right. If Jesus didn't die, mm. that means Jesus was a liar when he said, I'm going to die and resurrect. Well, yeah, not just Jesus is a liar. I mean, you have, you have to go back to the Torah and you go back to the um, Old Testament where Jesus, where the Messiah or Jesus' death was, uh, was uh, prophesied. So you have all these prophets who prophesied about Jesus' death or, 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 or you have it in the Psalms, you have it in Isaiah, and you, so you have all these prophecies about his death and it would mean that all these prophets were lying but also it would mean that Jesus was a liar and you know the, Jesus is supposed to be a major prophet in Islam so are they now calling Jesus a liar? It looks like <laughs> it's not only that if you look at the Christian scripture yeah. God of Christian scripture tells us Messiah is going to die yes all the prophets are talking about the Messiah mm. and his death and resurrection. That's right. Messiah comes yes. and dies. Yes. We've got eyewitnesses who sees the death and resurrection of Messiah. That's right. That's right. And Jesus reveals himself to his disciples after his resurrection. That's right. He never turns to anyone and then says, Oh guys, you are making a mistake. I did not die. No, he never no, say that. No. Plus, historians tell us about the death and resurrection of Jesus. Right, right. Verses, one verse in the Quran, right. without any explanation, right. without any correct historical information, tells us, by the way, Jesus didn't die. Right. That's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. I mean, and, and you... Yes. That's right. Mother of Jesus yeah. grieved for decades, probably. <laughs> it's not only she grieved, yeah. she watched her son die on the cross. Yeah. 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 Yet, Allah does not even practice his gift of, I don't know, uh, pastoral care <laughs> or whatever that gift is. <laughs> ta tells, doesn't even turn up and tells Mary, yeah. oh, you don't need to grieve. Yeah. Messiah Jesus did not die. Well, that's it. And you have hundreds and hu we have hundreds and hundreds of disciples and eyewitnesses. And in fact, when you look at the apostles, many of the apostles, they, they themselves died on the fact, on the premise that they were, they, they were dying because they had themselves had witnessed Jesus Christ dying for our sins and resurrecting. And so they gave up their life for that truth. They were willing to, uh, um, to, some of them go to the cross. Some of them were, were martyred. Why? Because they understood that they'd seen this Jesus alive, die, then rise up again. And they were willing to go to their deaths for that. And so we have numerous, and it's an ample, you know, ample evidence that Jesus died. All we have is this one tiny little verse in a book called the Quran, which came 700 years after the eyewitness. And what it says to me, Atun, is that, between this so-called Almighty Allah and his Prophet Muhammad, they couldn't work out a simple historical fact that Jesus died. This is a shambles. <laughs> so, if you throw away these 30-something Arabic words, yes. let's say, sake of the argument, 
we take that out of the Quran. Yeah. Can we come to the conclusion in any way or any shape that Jesus died on the cross and he resurrected? Are yes. there any other verses in well detailed and well explained the well detailed, well explained Quran tells us what happened to the Jesus? Yes, we have we have different texts um, that we can that we can look into. We have Surah 3, uh, 55, Surah 19, 33. And where, okay, say Surah 93, where Jesus himself predicts his death and resurrection in Surah 355. Um, God made a promise to Jesus before his death that he would raise him to himself um, from his death. And so we can go on and, and on and on. That's Surah 5, verse 117. That's correct. Which, yep. um, after the death of resurrection, it has been affirmed that Allah caused Jesus to die. To die, so absolutely. If we no. throw Surah 4 verse 157 in a bin, we have the verses in the Quran which confirms the death and resurrection of Jesus. Absolutely, and what we can then do is we can encourage the Muslims to come on the right side, which is this encouraging them to become Christians because it's Christians that believe that Jesus died. If you just get rid of the lies, get rid of that Surah 4 157, and believe the rest of your Quran, which is Jesus died and he rose again, according to Allah. So, let's sake of the argument. Yes. And for the sake of the history. Yes. Throw Surah 4 verse 157 in garbage. Yes. In a bin. <laughs> in a nice way. <laughs> and we end up in a word of Allah, yeah. Quran, which the confirmation from Surah 19, yeah. Surah 5, and from Surah 3, that Jesus, sinless of Prophet of Islam, confirms his death and resurrection, which is confirmed by historians, That's right. which is confirmed by the Bible. That's right. That's right. That's so, right. What, what we have here, we've got a Quran, well detailed, well explained, 33 Arabic words, yes. tells us, guys, by the way, Jesus didn't die, versus three other chapters of the Quran, Right. Talks about the death and resurrection of Jesus. Right. What shall we do, sir? What would you do? What would you do? You don't want me to involve in this uh, because I will reject all your uh, your. your uh, Did you hear the question? The question is: You have three verses that affirm Jesus' death, and Allah assuming him. Minimum three verses, though. Yeah, no, yeah, we have more than three verses. Hold, 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 hold. hold. This is me? the question, okay? So we have three verses versus one verse. Which one will you choose as a Muslim? Because they both contradict each other. My state, uh, state alongside. Are you gonna? Can, talk about it? can you answer that? Is there any other one? So yeah. So the question is this: You have three verses that affirm the death and resurrection, and Allah assuming you know Jesus into heaven. Verses. Um, Surah 4, 157, where it says that he was not crucified, he did not die. Yeah. So which one do you choose as a Muslim? Well, no, they both contradict each so other. It, yeah. You think it depends on the context? But, but it is amazing that as a Muslim, it looks like you fail to see Quran has no context. No context. <laughs> no, no, we're well, asking the, the context. You said, you said it depends on the context. Sir, Tell sir us you, the said, context. you said it depends on the context. Can you give us the context? Just relax a little bit. Yeah, give us the context. Do you want to come closer so we can hear you? Okay, so as he's waiting to give us our context, again, you know, it, it, it's interesting because, I mean, you mentioned historians, you mentioned scholars, but even the early church fathers, they believed that Jesus Christ died. I mean, you have Josephus, and you have Tarsophus, um, historians, you know, early, you know, first and second century historians that say that Jesus died. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. It will take, uh, you know, it's so amazing that someone would reject all the evidence that is aligned on one side and choose one verse when over and over again it's clear that Jesus, that Jesus Christ did die. It's not only it's not only the historians. Yeah. It's not only the church fathers. Yeah. It is the mother of Jesus yeah. believed that her son nailed on the cross. <laughs> yes. Beside that, scholar, which has been um, 
which has been very much loved by Muslims called Bart Ehrman, Bart Ehrman ah. tells us <laughs> yeah. that Jesus died on the cross. Yes. Of course, we don't need a Bart Ehrman to tell us that no. because we've got early writings from the first century, second century confirms the death of Jesus. That's right. Implications That's right. of Surah 4 verse 157 is serious. That's right. That's right. It confirms Allah is the greatest deceiver. That's right. It confirms the Quran goes against history. That's correct. It confirms Allah made a very big mistake when he chose Jesus to be prophet as it affirms Jesus as a liar. That's right. That's right. That's right. Implications of that are serious. That's right. This is the book Muslims put their faith in. That's correct. This yeah. is the kind of this book Muslim right. puts their faith in. Correct. Yet yeah. it goes against history. It goes against previous books. Right. Right. As scripture clearly tells us, Jesus died on the cross. Amen. Theologically tells us yes. he died on the cross because of the sin of man and woman. Yes, he did. It was my sin, your sin, and sin of everyone yes. who put Jesus on the cross. That's right, that's right. But you see, that's the beautiful thing about the gospel, and this is why we, we preach this every single week. Because it is the very reason, because Jesus died on the cross, that you can have hope. Without Jesus dying, the world is hopeless. We are all going to hell. We are all on our way to um, we're on our way to a devil's hell. But Jesus Christ, by dying on the cross, by atoning, by being that what the Bible calls that sacrificial lamb, now we can be made we can be made one with Christ. We can be come new again, and Jesus Christ is our Savior. So what I'll say is this: is this. My fruit and friends, put away the lies, put away the deception, put your faith in Jesus. Trust him. He's the one that cared enough that he left heaven to come down to die on the cross so that you can receive salvation. Without Jesus Christ, there's no other way. Amen. It Amen. is the Lamb of God who shed his blood for men and women. Yes. It is the Lamb of God who gives us eternal life. Yes, amen. Therefore, come and worship him yes. before it is too late. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, you sister. Brother. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>